to beautiful people my name is Sable and welcome to my channel curls of the CPA where I take you on my perfectly imperfect journey and today is another wash day but today's wash day is going to be sponsored by formulate shout out to them now I've known about formulate for a while but when I saw trusted of Alexis try the products and I saw that she had a good experience I was like well sign me up okay I will link her video in the cards and down below so you can check that out later but I was super excited when formulate reached out to me to not only send me products <laughs> but to host a giveaway so that one of you could win your own customized wash day goodness love to see it I will include the giveaway information down below in the description box and if you're interested in buying the products for yourself you can use my code curls of a CPA or click the link down below to save five dollars on your purchase but stay tuned until the end to get all the tea on my experience to see if I needed any adjustments to my formula and to find out if it's worth your coins. But that's enough talking. Let's get into the video. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm starting off by rinsing out my pre-poo treatment, which was amazing. <laughs> I will talk about it in my next video. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel and that you punch that notification bell so you don't miss that. But my hair is thoroughly detangled and ready for whatever this wash day has in store. Now that my hair is thoroughly rinsed, I'm going in with my personalized shampoo from Formulate. And this is a sulfate and silicone free shampoo that lathers as soon as it touches my wet strands. Now for those of you who who are unfamiliar with the brand, Formulate is a self-care company that uses the chemist to consumer model to provide quality tailor-made products to its consumers with a focus on healthy hair and scalp. They ask you a ton of questions about your hair characteristics, if you want silicones or not, if you have any allergies, how you want it to smell, what your hair goals are. And when I say hair goals, I mean, are you trying to grow your hair? Are you trying to preserve your hair color? Are you trying to treat your scalp? Do you want hydration, curl definition, slip, and so much more? And then if it doesn't meet your hair needs, they will work with you to make adjustments, which we'll talk a little bit more about later. I'll get into the ingredients later in the video, but this shampoo has a ton of nourishing oils and extracts that were intentionally picked to fit my needs. But y'all, this shampoo lathers like a dream. It's like a mixture between a creamy and soapy lather, and I was able to easily work my fingers through my hair, which y'all know is the icing on the cake for me, okay? But after really scrubbing my scalp and playing around with the suds, it's time to rinse. And as I rinsed, I was still able to lightly finger detangle and my hair felt really clean just after one cleanse. It was hydrating, but not stripped and not super frizzy. So this shampoo was definitely a win for me. And because I didn't have to use a lot to get a good lather, I feel like this will last me a long time. Overall, I definitely will continue using this shampoo and would recommend you giving it a try. Next, I'm going in with my personalized conditioner from Formulate. And y'all, <laughs> I always struggle with these pumps in the shower trying to be cute for the YouTubes. Goodness. <laughs> but this conditioner is so creamy and it feels so yummy in my hands. Like it's thick, but it has movement. And although it wasn't like super, super slippery, it was enough to get the job done. And it applied to my hair with such ease. And I could just feel my hair drinking it up now my two highest priorities were deep conditioning and strength so I could definitely feel that the conditioner was strengthening but it was also softening at the same time so I didn't mind that at all and y'all do you see my hair <laughs> I cannot make this up my hair looks really good and it's even you know a little way down too now the directions for this say to leave it on for two minutes and then for extra conditioning you can allow it to sit on longer um, but it doesn't specify like how long so I'm just gonna put my plastic cap on take a shower do some much needed skincare and then come back when I'm all clean now, brief commercial, if you guys are interested in an updated skincare routine, let me know and I'll give you all the tea, but I'll share the link and coupon code for the products I'm using today. It's from a black woman owned company called Best Life Organics and their products are clean, clean guys, like not no fragrance inside clean. I've been using these products for about two to three weeks and I have been loving them. I'll link everything down below, but after 20 minutes of self care, I am here fresh faced and ready to rinse out this conditioner and as I'm rinsing my hair it feels soft 
but it mo- mostly feels strong. <laughs> like this is this this is this really ain't where the moisture resides, which is kind of my fault. So like I thought when I picked deep conditioning that it would automatically be moisturizing, but for what I wanted, I should have picked hydrating as a priority. And I wanted this to be a strengthening deep conditioner, but I wanted it to also have a bit of moisture as well. I guess I wanted it to be protein moisture balanced, but they were super proactive and accommodating when I told them I wanted a little more moisture in the product. And we'll go into detail about that process later in the video. So stay tuned for that. Overall, I enjoyed this conditioner. I really enjoyed the application of this. My hair feels soft, but I cannot wait to try my new improved formula to see if it's a little more balanced. Now the directions do say that you don't need to deep condition or even use a leave-in afterwards and one of those statements are true. <laughs> I don't need to deep condition after this. I think that it did a really good job um, even though it was on the strengthening side, it was a good strengthening deep conditioner and my hair feels soft. However, I definitely do need a leave-in conditioner just to kind of balance it out and give my hair some good moisture. I'll share what I used for my pre-poo leave-in and styler in my next video. But let's get into the deets of this experience and I'll let you guys know if I would do this again. <laughs> And here I am eight days later and I have thoughts. <laughs> so first I just want to shout out Abby. Listen, Abby has been my contact throughout this entire process and she has been professional, attentive, flexible, all the things. I really enjoyed how we've cultivated a lovely working relationship. And this was honestly supposed to be just kind of like a post and go type of thing, but we just made it into something even bigger. <laughs> so I thoroughly enjoyed working with her and then shout out to Tammy for putting all the goodness together. She was also super attentive and she reached out to me to find out if I liked the formula. And I mean, not even, I mean, I used the products last week, Monday, today is Tuesday the week after. And I think I told her my feedback on last week, Tuesday, and I'm pretty sure those products were delivered yesterday. So basically like <laughs> a week after me giving her my feedback, they sent me a new product. So I'm super excited to try that. In my hand, I have my like, I don't know what you would call this, my formulate like packet. And it just has like all of my information in it. Like it has my hair characteristics I, that I put into like the, um, the survey. It has what I want in life. You know, I have deep conditioning, strengthen, improve scalp health, hydration, and anti-frizz. And as I mentioned before, strengthen was pretty high up on my list. And so I asked them, you know, what did they do to make the product more moisturizing and have a little more slip? Cause that's, you know, I, I want to be with a slip reside, okay? Um, and so they mentioned that they just increased the portion of two of the conditioners to um, to kind of balance it out. And so I'm super excited to try that. And I will let you guys know what I think about it once I do. Now, if you guys are interested in me doing a comparison, I could do a video where I compare the old formula to the new one to let you guys know, you know, if it works. But y'all just let me know down in the comment section if that's something you would like to see. If not, I could just verbally give you an update. Now let's talk about the price point. To me, I think this is considered luxury because you're custom making the products and the ingredients are mostly very clean. And so for the two eight ounce jars, the shampoo and the conditioner, it's $39.99. So that makes it about $20 per product. And I feel like that's in line with all of these other like fancy products. I do think eight ounces is like a little bit, but um, when you consider the service that you're getting and the custom and all that stuff, I think that that's built into the price. And so I do think it's worth the coin if you have it to spend, okay? But let's talk about these ingredients real quick. So my cleanser is coconut derived. It also has something I really, I can't pronounce, but I put on the screen, a tri, um, caprylic, cap, something, triglyceride, something. It's like a fatty acid. It's basically good for your hair and your skin and it has antibacterial properties, which is good for your scalp. Then it also has argon oil. It has sesame seed oil. Um, it has saw palmenta. It has sweet almond oil, avocado oil, vitamin C, um, vitamin E, pumpkin seed oil, aloe vera, and broccoli seed oil. And I really like the shampoo. Like, I don't think there was anything I would change about it. It cleaned my hair. My hair wasn't stripped. 
a one. Now for my conditioner, it has some poly something, 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 which is an anti-static agent <laughs> to reduce frizz. Um, it has argan oil, sesame seed oil, acetamide, MEA. Um, it's a conditioning agent that draws in moisture and I'm guessing that's what they increased. It also has vitamin B5. It has keratin oil. It has that same triglyceride that the shampoo has. It has saw palamento. It has avocado oil, lactic acid, sweet almond oil, wheat germ oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E, vitamin C, pumpkin seed oil, aloe vera, and broccoli seed oil. But that is all I have for you guys. Um, if you're interested in what's going on on my head, <laughs> then stay tuned for my next video. This is actually my retwisted hair. I retwisted my hair last night because I was like, cha, I'm not washing my hair. So I just wanted to, you know, kind of look like a person and not let my hair dry out completely before deciding to re-moisturize it. So this is what I'm working with. <laughs> yeah, so stay tuned for that. And I have nothing else. So I'm going to go now. Let me know down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions. And until next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm sending you all peace, love, and good hair day vibes. Bye. <laughs>